Hello, my name is Jack Strongitham. I am the application engineer for the UK and Ireland and Benelux countries. Now let's so look at how 3D. we can make use of the MX design and Civil 3D. So the new Gen IO drawing import or export or any other extension for Civil 3D 2011 project can be found on uh, autodesk.com uh, forward slash subscription. So just look this is a subscription centre. Um, I've actually uh, added, you will um, need a logon, uh, which your reseller can help so provide you with the details to get uh, access to that site. Uh, as long as you have subscription, irrigation lines, it's come through. On there, you will find uh, this tool, as you can see on the image below. And within this new release, we also, also have added have a, a new level of functionality well. to read the Bentley MX so raw uh, model uh, database file format model.fill, just like we would normally do. Now, the technique I'm going to use here is using data shortcuts, which I'm pretty sure that most people are using using Civil 3D. Don't place everything in one drawing. Uh, use the at least data shortcuts method to break the model down and do some drawing work outside of this one model. So, using data shortcuts, we can actually uh, basically create a drawing with just purely the MX. Uh, geometry and strings, surfaces, etc. And then from that, reference to that drawing and everything else can be linked. So in here we've got links out to the alignment and both surfaces. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a new drawing and actually cut some cross sections through just purely the MX design. So we need to do uh, a quick save first, call this cross sections. And the main thing we need is a reference through to the uh, designed alignment. And then the technique for um, doing sections, we could potentially bring in uh, the surfaces or we could use XREF. It doesn't really matter. Let's do XREF just so you can see uh, potentially a different way. So let's just pull back. Okay, so you see that's XREF in. This is uh, definitely the way to cut uh, corridors with Civil 3D. But we're going to do this uh, just on the MX data here. And through the XREF, uh, we can actually see the surfaces. So the key aspect is reference the uh, alignment through your date shortcut. And, and everything else can be XREF if you wish. So let's style up the ground to look like ground and the proposed design of the road in this case uh, we'll use this style called proposed ground we can uh, cut sections at typical values okay so you can see the sample lines your typical annotation that you would use and then we come to create some uh, cross sections so this is using the UK template so we can come in here and select a scale so because we're outside of the, the model we could be uh, working with different scales I'm going to 1 to 500 on an A1 sheet of paper uh, this is new to 2011 uh, how we want to um, clip the design set any labels so I'm going to just turn off the labels to the ground we use these ordinates or candle lines from the design down to the boxes so boxes proposed uh, road here and existing ground here create the sections place them in the drawing zoom extents to see the extent of these cross sections and you can see it's a just a single surface type design and the labels all coming through Civil 3D Let's just continue the last step here, going to output and use create section sheets. So we can now uh, create basically the viewports within 2011. So let's continue this. We need to do a short save. And then if we look into the viewports, you see that all your sections are now set up 
with uh, a drawing border of your choice. So that's basically taking it from MX and using Civil 3D as effectively a, a dynamic drawing package uh, to obviously extend the project team for the people to work on this data. So how about if this uh, project changes? So we first started with a GenIO file. So uh, somebody has to have MX to export that file uh, to bring that into Civil 3D. How about working with this MX database file, the model.fill, uh, in the first place? So it's something that would have to be within your uh, control and within the, um, the same office to probably pull this off. But why not have a go at doing the same thing? So we come back to the MX design drawing that I created at the start. And like I say, this is virtually a bucket uh, for the design. So we can remove anything that's uh, going to be updated. So literally just delete it. So you see the profile's gone and everything's gone here. Let's come to the toolbox and I'm going to read the latest MX model file. So it's exactly the same importer as the Gen IO. Obviously the names on the tabs are slightly different, but the idea is exactly the same. Um, I don't have MX, so here's a file uh, which has a change within the design, so changing the alignment to be uh, slightly different. So come in here, obviously you don't need to bring everything back in, just bring in the things that are different. So G string, uh, master string, the um, offset strings within the design, and that um, MX surface as well. Import those in. And you see the change here was basically the alignment has come a bit more square onto this side road here. So that's changed, but the if we look at all the names, the names are all exactly the same as how we started with. And that's the key aspect to uh, this workflow. So I'll make a, a quick save here. And let's flick back now to our cross sections, which are reading those files, those objects. There it is. So this is on a reference. We're in the, um, the sh sheets here. Maybe I go on to sheet two, because that's more where the change is going to take place. Maybe just uh, zoom in a little bit. And you see these bubbles. Uh, so one is XREF has changed. And the data shortcut, so the actual alignment in, in, uh, that is referenced through has changed as well. So depending on how you did this, you'll get the various bubbles. And everything has now changed. So whether you've seen that in there, I'm not too sure. Let's just go into the model. And of course you'll see that everything has tightened up into that approach. So all the drawings are up to date straight away. So if this drawing was just simply open, a bit like XREF, everything's automatically updated and those cross-section sheets are ready to be printed out with no extra effort involved.